YouTube, how you guys doing? Entity here, coming to you with a tutorial on making Windows 8 better for gaming. Most of you may know Windows 8 has been rumored to be better for gaming. Now, I'm going to show you some of my personal tricks that I do to make it faster and better for gaming. Now, first, go down to File Explorer here. See your main hard drive here? You're going to want to right-click on it, click Properties. And go over to hardware and then click that main hard drive it'll be like I know which ones are mine because my main hard drive is an SSD so I click on properties here down in the corner then click change settings then go to policies and check turn off write caching right there that thing make sure that's clicked like that alright the next one Go over to your, to, to your right side of your screen, go to PC Info, and then go to Advanced System Settings, go to Performance, now click Adjust for Best Performance, and then click Animations in the Taskbar, and then everything with an S in it, all the way down to the bottom. Then click Apply. And it'll be like that. That's that part. That on my way. The next thing, go back to the same window, except you gotta reopen it. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Go to advanced, click on paging file, make sure it's disabled. If you if you have more than eight gigs of RAM or you have eight gigs of RAM. I recommend turning the paging file off, but if you don't have more than 8 gigs of RAM, don't do this. But if you have more, make sure you disable the paging file. It will increase your performance greatly. Then the next thing is system restore. This is optional for you, but for me, I do it all the time. I turn off system protection. I don't know. I just This is a fr fresh load of Windows. I haven't done all these yet. But turn off system protection on your main drive. Now, if you want a stable system, I don't recommend doing that, but if you're not downloading stupid stuff like that, but then it frees up your hard drive. And another thing we, this isn't for uh, boost, oh wait, yeah, this is for boosting your performance. Alright, go to control panel, then user accounts, then click change user account control, and turn it to never notify, then click apply that's that one and then the next thing is go over to search then do Windows 7 we're gonna set you up with backup here then click on set up backup this is in case uh, your PC gets all messed up and all that crap and then choose your backup drive if you have one I do then let Windows choose you can choose whatever you want but I recommend daily and then your time and then click save settings and then it'll run back up next thing to do here is there's go on the internet open up chrome uh, hold up let me get this on my the screen here open up chrome go to malware bytes type that in it'll be this first site here click on download I'm not going to since I already have it and then another tool that you can download is CCleaner download it from CNET here click the download button that will bring you to another page now once that's downloaded go into here it will give you a nice icon on your desktop I know the detect cookies click run cleaner make sure your internet browser is closed if it's not closed you will have problems and then click on registry click scan for issues and then while that's doing that we're gonna go into our next tune-up thing uh, crap I forgot where it is shit oh yeah go to control panel then go to power options which is under system and security and then choose high performance 
turn ne that do you turn off the display never put the computer to sleep never click change advanced after you click save changes there go to hard disk turn hard disk off after type in never click apply then go to sleep sleep after type in never click apply and then okay that's that and then when this is all done here it'll show you a bunch of issues click fix issues you can back up the registry if you want to but I don't I don't bother to then click fix and then close and there you go that's that oh why did I just open up the internet again okay the next thing would be to lower some of your settings in your games I will show you some ghost optimization stuff right after this but not right now oops and then the next thing you want to do here is one more tip I think I have but you want to keep your SSD pretty clean one more tool you can down download I don't have this at the moment if you have an SSD and it's Samsung do this I'll provide I'll provide links for all this sh stuff under here. Okay, that's not the right website. It's this one here, TechSpot. Click on download now. Come on, download it. There we go. Then it'll give you this zip folder. Alright, let's go find this zip folder. Alright, there we go. Click on the Samsung Magician thingamajigger. It should pop up. Come on, pop up. Oh, there it is. Click English and then OK. Click Next. Click I Accept. Then choose your destination. I ain't got a problem with that. Click Create a Desktop Shortcut and then Install. And then there's that. Alright, come on, hurry up. What's this R? Oh, that's action. <laughs> Didn't know that does that. When your setup finishes, you can open this. And then go to Performance Benchmark. And then you can click Start if you want to run a benchmark. But if you don't want to run a benchmark, don't click Start. But this will run a bench benchmark on your read write speed. I'm not going to run one right now because I don't need to. Click go to OS optimization. You can click maximum performance and then you can click apply. I'm not going to do that right now because then I have to restart immediately. But if you can enable ACHI mode and your PC won't crash, go ahead and do that. Mine does, so I can't do that. And that's about it. And YouTube, we'll see you guys later.